Stand up, please, and back up. Thanks. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to be putting this uh, this hard drive in this uh, old legacy machine right here. It's an old model. What you do is uh, there's two little lock, uh, lock releases on each side. You push it and pull this forward and take the, uh, the lid off. Uh, this is the power supply right here. This is the uh, DVD drive. And this is the hard, the hard drive right here. This is the hard drive right here. Are you getting the hard drive? All right, now what we do, slide it forward. Take it out. Disconnect the SATA cables. Now I gotta disconnect these screws right here to put it on this hard drive so it can fit in that slot. So um, this is my other computer that I got hooked up. I just hooked up the uh, the old machine so I could um, you know check what's on it, what's on the hard drive, and you know configure it properly. Uh, this is just a uh, a temporary fix right now until I can order another motherboard for uh, from one of my customers. I'm just uh, you know lending them this machine for now. So. Let me uh, switch the display. This is what's currently on the hard drive right now. Well, all you got is uh, it's a password. Okay. Well, you got a, a whole bunch of stuff up on here. Okay, well, basically it works. So, uh, for now, thank you for tuning in to another Fix It Yourself editorial. I mean tutorial. Thank you. Have a blessed day.